Good morning, Miss Delina. It's an honor to have you here with us this morning. To begin with our interview, I would like to start off asking you our first question. What was it like to be a mother? Uh, before I answer the first question, I would like to also thank you for giving me the opportunity to share some of my personal experiences. So in response to that first question, you know, being a mother itself alone without even considering work is a very challenging task. I have five children, and the youngest is going to be four this year. And, you know, when I get home, there's still so many things to do. You have to get the kids ready for bed, but before they get ready for bed, you also have to cook food, feed them, right? Right now, it's a little bit light because there's no school. But when they're in school, it's it's really challenging. But, and then having a teenager makes it even more challenging because my oldest one is a teenager. And, you know, she's, she's in a stage where she's facing a lot of challenges in her own life. So I have to make more time to sit with her and talk to her about the challenges that she has. So it's not just children in general, but when you have teenagers, it's the, I think so far it's been the most challenging thing as a mother to have a teenager. How long have you been cheating at this college? I've been here for 15 years. So when I first came to CUM, I didn't teach history. I wasn't a history instructor. I came as a psychology instructor. But then uh, they asked me if I could teach one class of history. So after that one class of history, they gave me another history the next semester. So after teaching history for several semesters and several years, I began to love history. And today I love teaching history. And I love being a teacher. I think that's why I've been here for 15 years. And I think I keep telling my former students whenever they ask me, are you still teaching at CUM? And the answer I give them is, I think I'm going to retire from CUM. That's how much I've developed the passion for teaching. Were there any prominent female figures in the past that you know? Um, a lot of them, and it's going to take me probably <laughs> the whole day to talk about these prominent figures, but the two figures that I would like to share today are the mother figures in my family, especially my aunties and my mother. As a child growing up, you know, the support and the work that they did as mothers in our household and also as women in the workforce because they, you know, they took care of their children, but at the same time, they also had to work. Some of them were teachers, some of them worked at stores and other offices that required them to get away from our houses. Right? So seeing them having to work outside of the home and then at the same time coming back to help their kids, that was a source of motivation for me. I was looking at them and, you know, I was always telling myself, wow, I want to work and at the same time I want to be a mother. It was crazy, but, you know, the mother figures in my family was, you know, uh, to me they were leaders as a child growing up. And then when I came to see them, there was also another figure that she was my mentor and she also became an inspiration to me. But, and she, she was my classmate and then later my boss, when I came to see them, she, she was my boss. We taught in the same division. So when I first taught history of Micronesia, she taught me a lot about not only teaching, but the things that I first started to learn about history of Micronesia. And it's sad to say that most of these women figures have passed away, but you know their memories and the inspiration that they leave are still with me today. Even my friend, 
who was an inspiration to me at this college has also passed on. She died at a very young age. She was the vice president before Karen Simeon. Yes. Were there any challenge that you face when you become a profession professor at this college? I guess the greatest challenge before I came here was, you know, I was I guess I was disappointed when I first came not to this college but back to the island because I was away for a long period of time because I went to school right and when I was going to school I had I had already set my mind on a goal right? and the goal was that if I come back to Point Bay I wanted to be a counselor I wanted to help children right not not teaching in a classroom, but to see, you know, the problems that little kids had. Why is it hard for them to learn in classrooms, or why is it that they're not liked by other children in their community in the classroom? But that was the dream that I had in mind. So when I came back to Point Bay, I couldn't find, there was no opening for the kind of job that I wanted because I wanted to be a counselor. I studied something else, not history, right? <laughs> I studied psychology. So, you know, when I came back to find out that there was no such opening, especially in that area, I was a, a bit disappointed because I waited for three months. After three months, I didn't have a job. And it came to a point where I was telling myself, oh, I'm, I'm going to move back to the States. I might as well move back and, you know, look for jobs there. But right during that time was when I was thinking of going back to the States because all my family members are in the States right now. We moved when, when I was young and they're still there. I'm the only one who moved back. Someone from the Casalelia Press, the newspaper that we know as Casalelia Press, called me and said, you know, we saw they had a connection with someone else, and this someone else told them that I was looking for a job. So the manager called and he said, you know, he was asking if this was me, and, you know, he also asked if I wanted a job. I needed a job, and I said, you know, I'm in fact, I'm thinking that I should just go back to the States. And he said, if you're interested, you know, we have an opening. We need one reporter for the Casalelia Press. So the next day, <laughs> luckily the next day I went and I started my first job, you know, after my return from the States. So I became a reporter, right? And I guess that's part of why I was disappointed because I didn't really get what I wanted, right? I didn't. You know, the goal that I had set when I was going to school was never achieved, right? But although I got into a different area, after Casalelia Press, I came to COM. I've learned to love what I do as a teacher, right? And working with young folks like you and seeing them grow and succeed, you know, always gives me a sense of pride and a sense of accomplishment, knowing that I'm also part of what they do and who they are today. Right? So even knowing that, you know, I'm not disappointed. Right? At first I was, but now I don't regret being here at the college because I love what I do. Great. Thank you. Thank you.